All right, so this is an instructional video on the sales view. Um, so just like the management view, you've got two sections. So you've got a chart section and you've got a numbers section or a detail. So sales analysis, uh, this is only for people with a premium membership. And what it allows you to do is really dig into uh, what's going on with your business, uh, figure out where you're making the most money, where you're making the most sales, how long it's taken to make these sales, where you're selling them, tons of information. And it can be really helpful for you, especially when you're going out and you're sourcing and trying to make decisions. So I'm going to just go top to bottom. So the first chart is a profit and sales detail. So there's two pieces of information, broadly speaking, that you're getting from this chart. One is gross profit and one is the number of sales, okay? So your gross profit is these green bars and your count of sales is the white line. So if you use the, the y-axis over here, you see it's all dollar signs, that is lines up with your gross profit. And then over here on this y-axis, there's no dollar sign. So that's the number of sales. So just to kind of orient yourself on the chart, that's, that's where you need to look based on, you know, which one of these charts, chart elements you're looking at. And both of them share an x-axis looking at a uh, department, or you can also look at category or subcategory. So um, just big picture looking at this reseller's uh, sales, they sell mostly women's goods, both in terms of gross profit and in terms of the number of sales they're making. So uh, if we wanna dig in deeper and look by category instead of department, we can do that. And you'll see there's a whole bunch more categories and you can get more specific on where you're making your money. Shoes, tops. Shoes are more profitable because you're making more on them and selling less of them, uh, but you sell a lot more tops and it's still making you a good bit of money. So that's, that's helpful information to know. And then you can dig even deeper into the subcategories and start looking at which shoes are selling and making you the most money, uh, which tops are selling and making you the most money. So that's this chart, um, very, very easy to understand and very versatile. Okay, uh, next up, we have gross profit by days listed. All right, so lots of colors here, kind of exciting. Uh, we've got the labels for each color over on the right side. So you see there's date ranges here. And these date ranges, uh, they tell us how long it took for items to sell, okay? So 30% of our gross profit came from items that sold between 121 and 250 days. 20% zero to 30 days, 17% 61 to 90. So you, you get the drift. The idea is you want a higher percent of your gross profit to be selling in zero to 30 days. Because the faster you sell your inventory, uh, the less time you have money sitting on your shelves. And that's an indication that you're doing a good job when you're outsourcing. So pretty basic chart, but very, very helpful information, very useful just to know how you're doing with getting inventory that people want to buy. Okay, next up, gross profit by platform. This is self-explanatory. Um, what percentage of your gross profit is coming from Poshmark? What percentage of your gross profit is coming from eBay, Mercari? There's so many platforms out there. It really helps to see um, where am I making my money? Where am I wasting my time? So another thing that you might be able to find is that you make more money on one platform selling a specific item than on other platforms. And we can 
dig into how you do that once we get down to the filters. Now this user only has Poshmark as a selling platform, but all of your all of your data will be shown up here. And if you sell on more than one platform, uh, you'll get a distribution kind of similar to this chart over here, percentages of gross profit. Okay, next up, total sales by days listed. So this, um, this chart is kind of similar to the one up here in that it's got two axes, one on the left and one on the right. And then you've got an x-axis that both shares. So the x-axis is giving you uh, time ranges for how long it takes for an item to sell. But what do these lines mean? Well, the lines, the green one is telling you the average sales price. And the gray one is telling you the total number of sales. All right. So our average sales price it's going off of this y-axis over here. Um, so we can see that for this particular seller, they're making about the same amount all the way up to 250 days. And then they weren't selling anything past 250 days. So that is irrelevant. Um, so this is just fake data that we were using. And so you probably won't find this for yourself. This will be helpful to know if I'm sitting on an item for, you know, four months, am I going to make as much money as items that sell in the first 30 days? Um, am I going to make a lot more? It's, it's information that's good to, good to know when you're trying to decide, am I hanging on to this inventory? Uh, am I, you know, going to just liquidate it now because I'm probably not going to make much more on it if I just wait. Um, and then the other piece to this chart is the total number of sales. So this can, this is another thing that might influence your decision making. If, you know, most of your sales are coming in the first 60 days and then you're barely selling anything after that, you know, okay, that just means I have a, you know, a dud piece of inventory. And so as soon as I get an offer on this, I just need to accept it and move on if it's been sitting for, you know, 90 days. Okay, so those are the charts. Um, now we're going to get down into this grid here. These are just all the different numbers associated with your sales. So you've got your item title, department category, subcategory, brand. There's lots of stuff here that you can read through. Um, and I don't think it's, it's worth your time for me to read through it for you. What I will say is that you can filter these items. Uh, so say I want to look, um, say I want to look at men's, men's clothing. So the, the sales that I've made in the men's department, I'm going to go ahead and select department equals and then value is men all right now remember this seller mostly sells women's goods and so a lot of what we've seen is kind of skewed towards the trends for women's sales so it's interesting to look into all right well what are men's sales doing um obviously our chart up here is now only showing men's in the department but we can we can dig into the category and see that, all right, we're making most of our money on shoes and bags, and most of our sales are coming from shirts. Also, we can see we're really not making many sales at all in men's, but it's kind of interesting information. You're selling all these shirts and you're only making this much money, whereas you're selling, you know, nine shoes and making this much money almost probably double what you're making on the shirts. So that's in interesting information. It's good information for us to have. The other interesting thing that you could gain, if I didn't have all my sales on Poshmark here, I could see maybe men's 
clothing and shoes and backpacks, maybe that sells a lot better on eBay than it does on Poshmark. Um, you know, I don't know, but that would be something that's worth looking into for your business so that you can kind of try and prioritize where you're spending your time listing different items. Uh, gross profit by days listed. Again, if you've narrowed it down to just men's goods, you could kind of see how am I doing at sourcing men's goods? Um, and you can, you can keep trimming this down and trimming this down. So for example, maybe I just want to look at the sales date. So if I've sold men's goods, you know, for the past three years, this information is probably not that relevant to me uh, because it's a long period of time. And maybe I, I want to look at the most recent trend, or maybe I want to go back to last year, this time of year and see what the trends were. All right. So one way that I can do this is by, you know, I'm going to change this to May 1st of 2021. And influence my numbers that way. Now, in this particular example, nothing really changed. Um, so probably most of our sales were after May 1st, but you get the idea. You can filter these sales and then look at the charts up here to just get a better sense for what's going on with your numbers. And then make decisions for your business based on those numbers. So this gives you a lot of tools, a lot of power um, at your fingertips to manage your business and to learn how to make more money, learn how to use your time more wisely. All right, so that's it for the sales view uh, discussion. If you have questions, reach out to us. You can do it through supportingmyresellergenie.com. You can also, uh, Go to our Facebook page. We have a Facebook page that's specifically geared towards support for the online My Reseller Genie. So reach out to us and we'll get back to you. All right. Thanks so much. Have a great day.